Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Tuesday, July 23rd, 2019. All right, so today another very simple day in the astrology, as was the case uh, yesterday as well. Uh, the moon will still be in receptive Pisces, so a really good day here for cultivating our accepting nature. Um, what can we accept in our life to have a little bit more peace and tranquility? This could be about ourself, our environment, life in general, and even in relationships as well. Um, a bit of that compassion and understanding can be uh, great at this time. So with this, um, no major aspects going exact today, but we do have a grand trine with the moon, Mars, and Jupiter um, taking place today and especially tomorrow. But there could be maybe a bit of uh, inspiration, maybe a bit of hopefulness here today and uh, maybe a boost of confidence or courage or assertiveness, which could be good for maybe taking action or getting things done or just simply expanding our horizons a bit with that Jupiterian energy. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here is the sky for this Tuesday. And again, we are using the actual size of the constellations, which is different from mainstream astrology. Um, Pisces, for example, is a very large constellation. So in this case, the moon passes through here longer um, versus, say, Aries, that's a much smaller constellation. So if you are new to the channel, definitely check out the link down below for more information on true sidereal astrology. All right, so let's take a look here at the moon's placement, which represents the theme of the day. We have the moon in watery Pisces. So the theme is likely around, again, gaining what you could say is greater peace and tranquility in our life. So often with Pisces, it usually deals with things that we can accept or surrender, be more present with, really live in the present moment is a great way of working with Pisces. And sometimes, you know, just creating a bit of space in our life. So it could be maybe with our alone time, maybe a bit of creative time, a bit of this more, again, space, presence, receptive approach to things <clears throat> could be a really good way of working with the theme of the day with the moon still transiting Pisces. All right, and uh, of course, we still do have a lot of water energy with the fast movers. Um, we have the sun, Mercury and now Venus uh, in Cancer. Uh, Mars has been here, but Mars is going to be going into Leo this week, which I'll talk about. But a lot of this Cancer energy is all about the water side of creating a protective environment. It's a really good time of focusing on how we can create a protective environment for ourselves and others. It could be bringing out this nurturing and caring side of ourselves, which is great. And also reflective too, <clears throat> especially with Mercury retrograde. There could be things from the past coming up or we're just talking about the past or more focused on it. So anything that is about, again, getting in touch with that more intrinsic, internalized, reflective nature, uh, really good with all this Cancerian energy. <clears throat> all right. So with this, no major aspects going exact here today, um, but we do have a grand trine with the moon. The moon will be trining up to Mars and Jupiter. Um, who are going to be trining tomorrow. So this will be especially the case tomorrow. But today we could be feeling a bit of this maybe inspiration or uh, hopefulness, maybe in the area that deals with what we can do or accomplish or take action towards. This could give us a bit of assertiveness and uh, just confidence in general. So the planet that rules this stuff, Mars, our drive, our ambition, our assertive side, is getting this dose of expansion with Jupiter. So it can really inspire things, open those horizons. Could even be um, a good day for adventurousness. If there's anything that um, you know, you're feeling free-spirited towards, it could even be philosophical if it's expanding your mental horizons, or it could be quite literally as well. So nothing major with this, but anything that does require that direct assertive energy does have this nice trine with Jupiter, um, especially as we get into tomorrow and uh the uh, middle to later part of the week. All right, so along with this, uh, the moon will be squaring up to Saturn, nothing major with this, but um, maybe a good day to challenge ourselves with any responsibilities or just being patient. If there's anything you could be patient with, challenge yourself with, uh, could be a great way of working with the energy, but more than likely what's gonna take the dominance is this uh, more expansive, 
free-spirited energy with our um, assertive and direct side. All right, and then with Mars uh, slowly shifting into Leo, we probably won't feel it yet, but if you do, when it does come to taking action and asserting ourselves, we may notice that we're gonna start to do it a little bit more in the expressive way. Maybe playful, lighthearted, having some fun, creative energy um, will be the theme with how we take action once Mars gets closer to Leo, which will be stronger towards the later part of the week. All right, everyone, so that's the day in a nutshell. Very simple day astrologically. Most important thing, of course, is this creating of space right now with Pisces, getting in touch with this receptive side of ourself, having more presence and peace um, and space in our life can be great at this time. All right, everyone, so have a fantastic day. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the Daily Forecast. Take care.